Yo guys, what's up, Ghost here, and today I want to talk about the coloured jet contrails that you may have seen some pilots in Battlefield 4 flying around with. I get asked this question a lot, especially on stream. Ghost, how do you get the coloured contrails and where do they come from? I know a lot of you guys already know about these, but for the benefit of those who don't, today I'm going to give you guys all the details. Before we jump in, be sure to pop by our live stream sometime over at twitch.tv slash ghostgaminggg. I stream a few times a week and I always love chatting to you guys and playing a few rounds of BF4 with you. So I hope to see some of you guys there. So what are contrails, you might ask? Well, contrails or vapor trails are those line-shaped clouds produced by your jet's wingtips. At least, they are in Battlefield 4. So in order to get these contrails, you will need to get 500 kills in each and every jet. So that doesn't mean just one of the attack jets and one of the stealth jets, it means all of them. The Q5 Fantan and the J20 for the Chinese, the Su-25 Frogfoot and the Su-50 for the Russians, and the A-10 Warthog and the F-35 for the US of A. Once you get 500 kills in any given jet, you will get one of these mastery dog tags that displays how many total kills you've gotten in that particular jet. And once you have all six of them, all you have to do is equip one of them as your right hand dog tag and the contrails should be yours. Now it all sounds pretty simple to do, right? But it will take you quite some time. Take me for example, I unlocked mine just the other day and I've been playing this game for about seven years, albeit a bit on and off. So as you can imagine though, I was pretty happy about it. Oh, this dude there. Oh, oh, yes, yes. We did it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Woohoo. So the jet that gave me the most trouble without a shadow of a doubt was the Su-50, the Russian stealth jet. Everybody knows the F-35 is the best one, so it shouldn't take you too long to get those, but the J-20 and the Su-50, not so much fun, to be honest. I'm not sure why my Su-50 kills lagged so far behind my other jets for so long, but I think part of it has to do with which maps are the easiest to get kills on and what factions are generally represented there. For instance, Golmud is a popular map for 3200 ticket servers, but the factions there are generally US versus China. I say generally because if you're lucky enough to be playing on PC, then you'll know that servers can choose whichever factions they want for any map. So what I try to do is find a Russia versus Russia server so that I could farm the kills I needed as painlessly as possible. Regardless of the jet you need the remaining kills for, I suggest you go about it tactically in much the same manner when it comes to your server selections. I gotta say, I think this was a really cool little cosmetic that they added here, and I would have loved to see more of these for the other vehicles. I don't think it was in the game when it shipped, but they most likely added it later on in the CTE initiative. Honestly to me, this is just way cooler than any camo or skin they could have given you. And you know that when you see those contrails in the skies, there's a fairly experienced jet pilot up there. Please, please dice, do something like this again for the next battlefield. So there we go guys, hopefully this will set you on your path to jet contrail greatness. If it did, pop down below the video for me and hit that like button, that would be a massive help. And if you guys haven't already, maybe think about subscribing if you're into battlefield. Have a lovely day guys, and I will see you next time.